Good morning. Hope you're all well. Today is the day I leave LA and the road trip actually continues. I brought myself down to Manhattan Beach where I'm going to start the road trip and what I'm actually going to be doing is joining the Pacific Coast Highway and I'm driving all the way up to San Francisco. Yes, I'm really excited about this one. Uh, I've always wanted to do the Pacific Coast Highway. Along the way, I'm going to be stopping at Santa Barbara and Monterey Bay. And when I hit San Francisco, I'll have about four days there to explore. But until then, I've got to hit the road. But finally, just one quick look at the beach here. On the West Coast Highway at the moment and I've just pulled over as I'm so jealous of the conditions out here. Uh, you've got a load of surfers out and it's obviously quite a nice spot. Um, I think there's more than surfers actually, bear with me. I got cut off because there was a few dolphins swimming. Just swam past, just up and down. I think I caught them on camera but I don't think I was quick enough. That's my first West Coast Dolphin. The sets of these waves coming in now. They peel over so slowly. There's so many surfers out there and there's no way to hire anything from. These are, these are perfect conditions. The sea is so flat and then you've got all these right-handers just peeling over. If you don't get surfing, this is probably really boring, but you wouldn't believe the excitement I get from just seeing waves like that and how jealous I am that I can't get in. This is definitely a spot I'm gonna come back to in the future because it it just looks fantastic but for now I'm gonna continue heading up to Santa Barbara and you never know might find something as nice let's do it struggling with the speed limits in California. Now, I am speeding, currently. Not by much, but I'm not doing the limit. I am going over it, but I'm getting overtaken constantly. I, I feel that the speed limits are more guidelines than actual rules. The code is more what you call guidelines than actual rules. pulled out over on the highway just to have a look at one of the beaches along here. The whole area is just littered with beautiful spots. So many surfers out and this guy, so jealous. Still on the highway currently and uh, the terrain around has just gone all green and mountainous. It's very uh, Dorset, Dr uh, Jurassic coast. So it's very similar to what we've got back home. But 20 degrees, which we don't get back home. I think I've arrived at my b, &B for tonight. Um, I'm just going to go try and check in, make sure I'm at the right place. Hello. Hello. Uh, Airbnb? Yeah. Yeah, I'm Sam. Okay. Hello, how are you? Fine, yeah? Yeah, very well. Very well. Go I wasn't on. sure if I'd let myself in or if I'd not. I'll show you where. Okay.
Oh, okay, fantastic. Nice to get in the room. Yeah, no, brilliant. That's a bad for a night, sir. No. And, um... This is uh, one of the more strange ones so far. So I'm only here one night, so I'm not as fast. I'm heading down to the Santa Barbara Pier area um, to have a look around. Turn right onto the California 100. At Santa Barbara Pier. Unfortunately, there's quite a lot of building work going on, so it looks like a bit of a building site rather than uh, something appealing. So, just paid for an hour's worth of parking. Two dollars. <laughs> okay, reasonable considering LA's prices. However, if I'd have parked actually on the pier, which I would have assumed would have been more expensive, you can actually get 90 minutes free of charge. It's all about learning. So if you do come to Santa Barbara and you're driving, and you want someone to park for 90 minutes for free, drive on the pier. Just at the end of the pier and um, having a look around there's quite a few little quirky shops that sell sort of your souvenirs, a few restaurants, fish and chips. To be honest, quite a nice pier as piers go. Just drove through the main high street in Santa Barbara and it's a really nice high street. If I liked shopping, I would go there, that's for sure. Lots of uh, restaurants and bars, which is nice. It seems like a very social city. Uh, gonna head back to the B&B, Airbnb. I'm in my B&B now and I'm gonna settle down from that. Uh, get some stuff done on my laptop. I'm looking forward to Monterey Bay tomorrow, so we've got quite a long drive. Until tomorrow guys, good night. <laughs>